A honeypot can be thought of as the sting operation in the network security world. It is a highly flexible tool which can be used to log attacks, distract attackers from real targets, and analyze attack methods. A honeypot is not just one tool, they come in many shapes and forms. There are two major types of honeypots, low or high interaction. A low interaction honeypot is usually a virtual image running on the machine. This allows the user to emulate a network of honeypots on the single computer. They usually have limited use and minimal risk. They are best for capturing script kitties and automated attacks. High interaction honeypots, or research honeypots are usually a dedicated real physical machine. They tend to be highly customizable, however because it is a real machine it can be compromised more easily. HoneyD is Honeypot software that runs as a daemon in the Linux environment. This open source framework allows us to build a network of virtual honeypots. Even if an experienced attacker gains access to our network, they may still get frustrated trying to figure out which devices are real or fake. Even though the server has only one IP address it will respond for itself as well as the four honeypots running. We will log the attacks using Wireshark. Now let's run the honeypot and show what happens when you try to tell net into it. Let's take a look at what we have captured in Wireshark. Although the attacker tried to tell Net into the honeypot it actually was interacting with the Perl script. The truth is there is no valid login name, whatever an attacker inputs will return an invalid login. From the six attempted logins we have logged many packets. In each packet we can see the source address from the attack computer to the two honeypots. This type of honeypot could be useful against automated attacks and new attackers trying to cause trouble. This configuration could be especially annoying because every IP address on the subnet will respond to ICMP messages. It is possible to have more advanced scripts that emulate different services such as SMTP, POP3, SSH and other protocols, a honeypot can distract attackers while gathering important information about the attackers. The honeypot is only as useful as the information gathered from it. We hope this has given you a foundation about honeypots and how they can be helpful as a network security tool. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!